Hi guys, what's up? Yeah, what's up, what's up? <laughs> welcome to our channel, this is Anya and this is Winnie And welcome to Winnie Tales. Tales Yay! <laughs> okay, so today we're gonna be talking about the things we wish we knew before coming to Canada Right So first of all, we're gonna start with uh, we're gonna start with the culture, cultural things. Mm -hmm. So, um, as you know, um, Canada is like a multicultural country. Mm -hmm. So there's so many races, so many nationalities and stuff. Right, for um, sure. So if you live in somewhere around um, Toronto, it's pretty diverse. But I would say there's a lot of like Asian, European people, and also Black people. It's a mix of uh, people there mm -hmm. here, and also they bring stuff coming with them like for example the food the culture the the, the uniform mm -hmm. what's that called the traditional costume right yeah yeah and it's really diverse and I, I love it actually yeah and also uh one thing uh we would like to mention is that there is also sometimes uh cultural events happening mm -hmm. in canada like in some cities for example people bring their own costumes and then they perform mm -hmm. together along with the other cultures and that way we all share our cultures we all get to know what their culture is like right. they get to know what our culture is like and that that way we share our uh, beliefs mm -hmm. and um, you know stories and stuff right right yeah and then also like if you live somewhere in manitoba like when you go up north yeah. there's more first nations like it's become more dense like yeah it's uh for example our population would be more more dense in one race. Yeah, it's, all right. It consists more, I would say, of uh, European people, not as much as like um, Asians. So, for example, in Ontario here, uh, there's so many Asians. I mm -hmm. would say. So when I first came here, I was a little bit like shocked mm -hmm. because I didn't expect to be there to be so many Asian people here, mm -hmm. and um, that was actually pretty interesting to see because you know. Um, Canada is like one country, but then when you go to one province, it's it looks like this. But then when you go like for example north or west, it's a little bit different, but still the same country. So right, yeah. Like for example, if you go to Quebec, you will see most French speaker. Yeah, and yeah. then the like, people come who come from French, and then there's more European there, and it's mm -hmm. interesting to you know. Mm -hmm. All right, and then people in Canada, they're pretty open-minded, don't you see? Yeah, like they're more friendly, mm -hmm. friendly I would say. Uh, for example, like people here are more open-minded. They would mm -hmm. accept you for who you are mm -hmm. um, because, you know, everyone is equal. No one for has sure, to be sure. outcasted mm -hmm. because if you are, then it's not Canada, you know? People would not like that. And um, the thing is, mm -hmm. And about you know LGBT people like they're pretty open about it. Yeah, so um, I know some of the people whom I know, my friends, um, they are members of their community, um, and they are like largely accepted by them. Right, I have so many friends who are LGBT. Yeah, so um, sometimes people even like host those like parties or um, events for those people, and. Um, we embrace it as a culture, as right. one country. Like we are together in this. Right. Yeah. And it's like legal to marry uh, if you're a gay couple here, and this is totally amazing, actually. Yeah. I mean, it's it. so cute. Like when a couple together, they're, they're just yeah, so cute, it's, right? It's cute. <laughs> yeah. I actually like it. All right. So we, let's go to the second one, which is the languages. So as you know, Canada, they're just like it's an English and French speaking country, mm -hmm. but I. From, from my experience, because I live in Ontario, so people just basically speak in English more. But and if you like second language, English is just second language. It's, it's completely all right just for me. Um, I'm I'm Vietnamese, and then um, English is actually my second language, and she's Russian, and she, yeah, uh, it's her second language too. It actually take a lot of practice in the beginning, but. At the end, it's still fine. Like it's pay off, you know. Mm -hmm. And it's so good to like to talk to people in That's English. Cause, like you, you learn the culture and stuff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And also, like I would sh I would mention something else about the language is, uh, in Canada we use more of the American language. Mm -hmm. Like, um, but in our program when we were in our country, like because Britain is we we study about like the British accent in English. Yeah. Uh, we don't say the so what I learned the garbage the garbage the trash mm -hmm. we don't say uh, the say the bin like 
the where's the bin, you know? Yeah. So when I was grade eight, uh, I asked where's the got where's the bin, mm -hmm. but no one know what is that. And then later I was like, the bin, she would throw the stuff, you know, like the bin. <laughs> and then there was like, and she would, like my teacher realized, oh, that's the garbage, and she probably should have out that. No, okay, it's garbage now. Oh, yeah. All right, and then is it the same experience with you? Like when yeah, you were... like when I was little, when I was in Russia, mm -hmm. we would learn the British English too, mm. and that would be a little bit different for us because. Like when you're here in Canada, you you basically speak the standard English, like uh, American English, and so I remember when I was little, um, we would learn these words in British English, like what, like water, and here mm. you would say water. So that's the basic like um, difference. I would say like the accents and stuff. Mm. Um, like if you want to learn British accent English, it's mm -hmm. alright. Like it's nothing wrong with it. But it's just like when you first came, you just kind of, kind of mm. shock, like shock with the English. Here. Yeah. But you don't know what is that. But then later on, you figure it out. Mm. Um, and also, we recommend you to watch, like some uh, like American. some American sitcoms, like from Netflix with mm -hmm. subtitles. Obviously, maybe like if you're comfortable with it, like if you don't want the subtitles, that's okay too. But um, I know for but you can pick up the accent. Yeah, yeah. It. Like some people would prefer the subtitles, maybe. And by watching these shows, I find it like they're a bit easier to understand because you know they're easy to watch mm -hmm. and it's easier to understand in some right. cases. Like such shows like Friends. Mm. I know some people who watch shows from Netflix and then right. they learn it that way. Let's move on to the last but not least one. That's the, about the finance thing. Yeah, so finance situation here in Canada is like, um, it's maybe a little bit different com like, uh, depending on the country you live in right now. Um, mm. So here in Canada, as some of you might know, we have taxes. Mm -hmm. um, they're not included in the price. Yeah, they're not included in the price. So like there is something separate. And um, for example, let's say if you go to the store and you decided to uh, buy something from there, let's say um, a box of ramen, mm -hmm. it would be like $5, right? right? But then when you go to checkout, it would be a little bit different. It would be higher. Uh, yeah, it would be higher. So plus 13% in Ontario. So 13% of $5. Yeah, 13% of that. Mm -hmm. um, and, then, and then $5 added with it. So I would say, I don't, rem I don't know the specific number, but I would guess about five dollars something or six dollars i that? would be like say six seven dollars maybe mm -hmm. like depends yeah depends on the province you live in because some provinces have a little bit higher or a little lower tax right percentage. for example like i would say in quebec it's like 15 percent of tax mm -hmm. but in ontario it's like 13 percent of tax yes right that's true that's true and also the tea yeah and also um something that i realized was different here in canada was like when you um, go to the restaurant. Mm -hmm. um, you got a tip. Like yeah, the tip you, culture, yeah, you know? yeah. You gotta um, appreciate their work, like people's hard work, especially in such like difficult times for everyone, for everyone who's working, um, because you know it's um, it's cold. <sighs> yeah, I would say. Okay, so basically in Canada, when you go to Russia, you got a tip. Tip is like the way we appreciate, to show the appreciation, yeah, right? For their hard work. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so I mean, you don't have to, but it would be suggested that you do. Mm -hmm. um, so I would say like the minimum amount that people give, it would be like about 10%. That's the list one. Then yeah, it yeah. can go up to 30%, but mm -hmm. it's up to you. Like some people would absolutely tip like 100%. Yeah. I mean, it's like, <laughs> it's happened though, you guys know, like maybe over a bit 100. Like yeah, sometimes yeah, it's happened, yeah, but yeah. anyways. We, we, we know this because we used to be um, waitresses too. I used to work at this Japanese restaurant. And I used to work at my bistro. And yeah. people used to give the tip uh, afterward. Yeah, yeah. Mm. For some countries like Korea, um, the tip is not tolerated, like it's not as appreciated, I would say, like they don't want it. But here in Canada, they would... It's just like a part of the culture. Yeah, it's so. just the way we see things here, mm. like a people's mindset. Mm. Overall, so I would say in, in for the money part, you gotta be 
you got here the tax is like not included in the product price so you gotta pay it afterward and secondly the, you got a tip when you go to a restaurant mm -hmm. all right that's pretty much it now let's summarize it so first part we have the cultural change so here is the so people are more diverse mm. and also you like, go out you go out you see everyone their friend <laughs> right and also um with their open-minded their knowledge yeah. to LGBT they accept mm -hmm. it and then about languages and don't worry about english being your second language because it's absolutely normal like, because you know we started from the bottom too right we came from that side too that's mm. okay that's so okay she just don't she don't be afraid of what people think about you like they, they don't care <laughs> just practice like yeah. they actually help you out too because she's yeah. canadian they're nice and you know when when we say that they don't care we literally mean it they they don't care because I know some people who go out in pajamas. Mm. They don't it's, care. It's literally normal. Like it's just okay. just practice. Just find someone else, talk to them in English, and then practice. You know. Yeah. And then yeah. It's um, okay, sis. We will mm. support you. Right, bro. <laughs> <laughs> so some finance thing that yeah. we gotta pay tax. The tax not includes in the product, and we gotta tip when you go to the restaurant. And pretty much that's it for the video today, right? Yeah, I think that's it. I mean, we pretty much summarized them like the most important ideas. Right, right. Um, something that we found a little bit interesting. Mm -hmm. Something that we found a bit shocking, but it's okay. It's okay. We are talking about learning. Mm. Yeah, thank you so much for, for just watching, watching and for then, uh, giving some time to watch this video. We appreciate that. Yeah, because you know we are trying our best mm -hmm. to educate everyone on such um, important topics. Yes. Yeah. Um, use so much knowledge. And yeah. It's pretty important though, actually. Yeah, and also from and I hope you guys like the video. If you think it's helpful, just please subscribe to our channel. It's, yeah. kind, of, it's kind of brand new, isn't it? We just get started and we might make some mistakes on the way, but uh, if you see any like that, please comment down here and then spot it out for us, then we know what to fix. Right. right. So if you want to hit us up on our socials, that would mm. be okay too. So we'll leave it in the discussion box below. Mm -hmm. And yeah, thanks so much for watching and we'll see you soon. See ya. Bye, Bye sisters. Bros. <laughs>